Hello and welcome to today's lesson on Standard English. In this video, we will be discussing what Standard English is, its characteristics, and some examples to help us better understand. What is Standard English? Standard English is the form of the English language that is widely accepted as the norm in formal and written contexts. It is the language of education, business, and government, and it is used by the speakers of all dialects and backgrounds. Standard English is based on the grammatical and lexical conventions of the language, and it is generally considered to be the most widely understood and accepted form of English. Let's have characteristics of Standard English. Now that we know what Standard English is, let's try to look at some of its key characteristics. First, Standard English is characterized by its grammatical accuracy, and it follows the rules of English grammar such as subject-verb agreement, correct use of pronouns, and appropriate use of tenses. Second, Standard English uses a broad and varied vocabulary, including words that are commonly used in academic and professional contexts. Third, Standard English avoids the use of colloquialisms slang and regional dialects that may be difficult for non-native speakers to understand. Fourth, Standard English uses a clear and concise writing style, avoiding unnecessary complex of convoluted sentence structures. And now let's discuss further the areas in the English language that should be considered in Standard English. Number one, grammar. Grammar is one of the most important areas to consider when using Standard English. Standard English follows the rules of English grammar including proper subject-verb agreement, appropriate use of verb tenses, and of course the correct use of pronouns. This means that in Standard English, sentences are constructed in a way that it is easy to understand and grammatically correct. For correct subject-verb agreement, we say the dog barks loudly every morning. And for the appropriate use of verb tenses, we say I have been studying English for three years. And for the correct use of pronouns, we say she gave the book to him. Now let's talk about vocabulary. Vocabulary is another important area to consider in Standard English. Standard English uses a broad and varied vocabulary that includes words commonly used in academic and professional contexts. It avoids the use of slang and colloquialisms, which may be difficult for non-native speakers to understand. Standard English also uses words that have clear and precise meanings, so that communication is accurate and effective. For broad and varied vocabulary, we say, I am studying linguistics, which is the scientific study of language and structure. And for avoidance of slang and colloquialisms, we say, I will call you later instead of, I'll give you a buzz later. And for the clear and precise language, we say, he was feeling melancholy instead of, he was feeling kind of down. Let's have pronunciation. Pronunciation is another area that should be considered in Standard English. Standard English pronunciation is based on the sounds of the language, including proper stress and intonation, and this helps to ensure that communication is clear and very easy to understand. For the proper stress and intonation, we say, the emphasis is on the first syllable. We pronounce the word as emphasis instead of saying the emphasis is on the first syllable we pronounce the word as emphasis spelling and punctuation spelling and punctuation are very important areas to consider in standard english in standard english words are spelled correctly and pronunciation is used appropriately this helps to ensure that reading communication is clear and effective. Let's try to check the spelling of accommodation. It should be 
two C's and two M's. Accommodation instead of the single C and the single M. And how about the appropriate use of punctuation? I am going to the store, semicolon, and do you need anything? Instead of, I am going to the store, do you need anything? Let's talk about usage. Usage refers to the way in which words and phrases are used in Standard English. In Standard English, words and phrases are used in a way that it is appropriate for the context and, of course, the audience. This means that Standard English avoids the use of informal or colloquial language in formal context and uses language that is appropriate for the audience. For appropriate language for the context and the audience, we'll say, please find attached resume instead of here is my resume. For the avoidance of informal language in formal contexts, we say, dear sir or madam, instead of hey there. <laughs> Style. Style refers to the way in which language is used to convey meaning in standard English. Standard English uses a clear and concise writing style, avoiding unnecessary complex or convoluted sentence structures. This helps to ensure that communication is clear and effective. How about clear and concise writing? We say, the meeting will start at 2 p.m. sharp. The meeting will begin promptly at 2 p.m. as scheduled. Now, let's try to take a look at some of the examples of correct and incorrect sentences aligned to Standard English. Let's have first grammar and vocabulary. We sometimes say, me and him are going to the party. Instead of saying that, we say, he and I are going to the party. In Standard English, we don't say, ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, we say, nobody has time for that. We sometimes say, I seen that movie last week. But in Standard English, we say, I saw that movie last week. But in Standard English, we say, I saw that movie last week. And how about pronunciation and accent? We don't say gonna. Instead, we say going to. We sometimes say can't instead of can't. And how about spelling and punctuation? Let's come to spelling and punctuation. We don't say you're going to love this book with Y-O-U-R. Instead, we say you're going to love this book with Y-O-U apostrophe R-E for you are. We don't say it's a beautiful day outside with I-T-S. It should be I-T apostrophe S. It's a beautiful day outside. The cat sat on its tail. Mm? We have mm? we have to use ITS now. It should be the cat sat on its tail. Well, I hope these examples help us better understand the differences between correct and the incorrect sentences aligned to standard English. By paying attention to these areas and using standard English, we can ensure that our communication is effective and clear regardless of the audience and context. In summary, when considering standard English, it is important to focus on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, spelling and punctuation, usage and style. By paying attention to these areas, we can communicate more effectively in formal or written context and ensure that our message is clear and easy to understand. My name is Teacher Randy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Keep learning. Goodbye.